This is Performers Wanted. Hey, welcome to the show, y'all. Today, we're going to be talking to Haley Isrieta, one of my closest friends who has many credits to their name, but today we're going to be talking about Six Bliss 6.0. Let's pop in and see how they're doing. Oh, my gosh. All right, everyone's going to have to uh, excuse me for the, my jump in energy right now because I am with one of my dearest friends. Hello. I'm with one of my dearest friends. And I'm with one of my dearest friends. I haven't seen them in a very long time. I, in a while. I mean, we did just run into each other. Yeah. But we didn't get to, like, catch up. Yeah, it yeah. was like serendipitous. Literally. <laughs> As it was. It's the most New York thing. <laughs> New York, so I am with Haley Isurieta. Some of you guys know who that is already. <laughs> and most of you probably don't. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's a pocket of the, the internet who definitely knows who you are. Yeah. We're going to get into that right now. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get into that right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a name change. So it's like, yeah, welcome to Performers Wanted the show that loves success but loves the journey even more right now yeah. with Haley Isurieta. And we're going to talk about that a little bit. Gonna... I'm so excited. Yeah, so... I don't know what to expect. There is. Yeah, honestly, I don't either. I, I think about it. I tried to prepare. Sure. But I'm just too excited no, right the now. The best conversations are just the wand <laughs> off the fly, right? Yeah, yeah. because I, I just did a podcast. I recorded a podcast just a few minutes ago, and it was very, like, somber and calm and it was just like so tell me about your experiences you know and but... now it's gonna be straight chaos yes <laughs> absolutely yeah so i'm definitely gonna... <laughs> i'm so sorry to switch it up but <laughs> no bro so Haley moved to new york a couple of years ago it's yeah. been a couple of years at this point uh i think two years actually this summer, yeah two years two of, years uh, july yeah two years so Haley and i have been collaborators for a pretty long time at this point yeah yeah pretty long time for yeah for a while but as far as like musical theater goes about four years right. now yeah <laughs> and before that it was just dance it was just dance but and now we have the mutual love for musical theater <laughs> yes yeah which is kind of how we met up last time it was uh -huh. serendipitous i had gone to new york with my girlfriend we had just got done seeing chicago and we were on our way back to our airbnb which was in jersey so we had to like go get on that bus and go on the way back which right. isn't that bad but like we still had to go uh -huh. and i figured i wasn't going to be able to see Haley. i know because i was busy i was working and you had plans and it was just kind of like it, it was a lot um but i was just coming out of a show as well i was watching uh patriots it's a play mm -hmm. And we just somehow magically got out at the same time yes. on the same side of the street, mm -hmm. walking towards each other. It was the <laughs> like that is New York in a nutshell. Oh my god! Like gosh. oh yeah, we saw each other on like Forty Second Street. It was crazy. <laughs> and we took the cute little picture, and they were like, "Okay, bye, see like, you later." Bye. Yeah, because I still gotta make sure we get home. <laughs> I know, literally. Yeah, you guys had a long travel. Yeah, it was a, a long travel, but it's cool. We uh. Yeah. We might go back to New York soon, and we'll probably end up staying in Jersey again. So, okay. like, cool. cause that was pretty nice. Jersey itself is chill, and then you go into the chaos of New York. Yeah. Well, I feel the same because I'm in I'm in Washington Heights, so I'm still mm -hmm. in the city, but it's higher up. So I don't I'm not right. like in the mm -hmm. crazy tourist touristy area. So right. Yeah. yeah. While I was out there, we actually we visited Washington Heights for a very short amount of time because yeah, nice. <laughs> she wanted me to actually see where she grew up yeah. yeah where she grew up because uh my girlfriend was raised in the heights oh i didn't know that oh okay mm -hmm. so, yeah she was raised in the she heights. Was from new york mm -hmm. specifically the heights. the heights yeah specifically from the heights wow. yeah. yeah so it's kind of interesting she has specific ideas about that show <laughs> okay yeah just because she grew up in it no yeah i'm sure you have some kind of like bias opinion which totally makes sense and is so valid because that's where that's like your home <laughs> mm -hmm. right right Not trying to quote the musical as well. <laughs> right exactly because yeah you are you are home so it's like yeah. when I there's apples, yeah of course <laughs> when there is some form of media around where you grew up and it's like actually make like bringing a whole lot of attention to where you grew up yeah it's like you kind of hope to, for it to be a, a right. certain way so yeah, for sure yeah so we we talked about it and we definitely actually watched the movie while we were out there we were just like let's just watch the movie you know and yeah. she was just like i know where that is yeah i know, I know. Like, yeah 
it was cool that movie's cool yeah um but that fun fact that was actually the last musical i did in california before i actually moved to washington heights i didn't do that on purpose it just happened to work that way i was there i went <laughs> you, oh yeah you, you saw it yeah yeah you saw it once i saw it once yeah yeah, yeah. i yeah. saw it once and yeah i saw it once and i i took i took rumor yeah, with me to yeah. To see it, we yeah. And then we danced in the parking lot after. <laughs> we did. We were blasting music from. The we car did. It's we one did. of my favorite moments. I talk about that. I was like, oh yeah, yeah. you know, I was watching the heights, and then like we just started getting down yeah, in, the in the parking lot. The show. Such performers. So I know, literally, never saw it. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's get to the grit. So, is anyone, <laughs> anyone who is here, you know, who doesn't know you personally, mm -hmm. I'm certain is waiting for us to speak about one specific thing. And so Haley, you recently joined the queendom. I did. <laughs> you joined the queendom. I joined the queendom, yeah. And uh, you were part of the, uh, like the Bliss crew for six, yeah? Yeah, I was part of uh, Bliss 6.0. I was a rehearsal swing for Bliss 5.0 and then officially did the show with the next following cast after that. Wow. Yeah how was that like we i've uh -huh. i know it was like oh that's crazy and you're like oh it's so insane but we haven't actually talked about i know it. Like, like we haven't gotten into the depths of <laughs> six the music mm -hmm. um i mean like it was so fun i and it's crazy because actually this is like a perfect time to do this because we opened a year ago as of yesterday really yes it was exactly a year ago as of yesterday happy pride <laughs> happy pride y'all happy pride <laughs> um and we opened on the first day of pride which was a cool a really cool experience too mm -hmm. um but yeah it, it, it was a, also like it was a different experience because we were also on a cruise line mm. which is a whole other ball game that i've never experienced before right um and i feel like that was probably the craziest part was living on a moving city floating on water mm -hmm. it was crazy <laughs> wow yeah. yeah but the show i mean is amazing do you have questions for me <laughs> yes i do have questions for you i okay so the first question i'm going to uh ask is yeah. so are you represented in some sort of way right you have some sort of representation or was it yeah. word of mouth no, no no i have i have an agent okay yeah i have an agent i've had my agent for like oh god four years mm -hmm. three years four years yeah okay yeah okay so you get the you, you get the notification hey they're looking for they're looking for queens mm -hmm. this is the first this is first out you haven't even like auditioned for it yet mm -hmm. what's going through your mind well i was already planning on being in new york and it was the decision of like okay i just i just did a regional show out here and i feel like i've done my time in california Mm -hmm. So I'm in the mindset of transitioning to New York. And I was like, it's scary because I don't have a job yet. I don't have a place yet. Like, I, and I'm like, okay, um, but it's my time to move across the country, I guess. Uh, so I move across the country and that week, the first, like first or second day I land, I, I got the notification of, Hey, you got a call back for six and musical. And I was like, Oh, Okay. So is this a good sign that I'm moving to New York? Mm -hmm. Probably. Um, and within the first, like, maybe two, because it was a long audition process. Like, that audition process was so long. Um, probably, like, the first, I, I would say, like, first within the first month is when I did all those auditions and callbacks uh, of me moving to New York. And mm -hmm. I think that was the universe being like, hey, dude. This is where you're supposed <laughs> you're to good, be. You're good, bro. You're in the right spot. But yeah, I got the notification of me uh, going into the room, and it is a long process. Like, yeah, go into that a little bit about that because I don't think people really understand. I was talking about this with the, the last guest that is like, yeah. okay, one audition, you're good, go in. Absolutely not. No, yeah. I mean, like, sure, the first audition is that way, but after that, it's like, Okay, what's the next thing? What's the next thing? What's the next thing? But with six specifically, they kind of treated it like a workshop. Mm. Um, so it was like a week. It was so long. <laughs> so like 
I went in first by myself saying my stuff and then they what they called you back and it was a whole week of events so like you would go in and you would do a the dance combo which was get down of course of course it has to be and um then they make a cut then they bring you back again and it's a smaller group of people and then they make you uh sing the songs of the queens that you're called back for. I was only called back for two. Mm -hmm. um, I think they wanted me for Cleves the whole time. Right. They just also brought me in for Boleyn to see if I can actually sing. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> because like, is it near all alone on a throne? Like, yeah, I, a lot of people, people could probably sing that. So they, you know, mm -hmm. needed a little bit more of a vocal range. Um, right. So I, I got called back for those two queens. You go in, you sing your stuff and then they have us actually do the opening chat and they're just like read for par read for cleaves we like they'll mm -hmm. just like throw you random queens and you have to do the opening chat in front of these people and you have to like know the whole scene which is crazy uh because there's obviously six different parts mm -hmm. um and then they make a cut after that and then you go back sing again cut after that and then they go back and they teach you pretty much every dance break in the show <laughs> so we did no way we did don't lose your head get down and all you want to do mm -hmm. all four dances um, wow yeah i know and they just were like okay this is the next one okay this is the next one and then they'll like it was so long it was so long um and then after that second dance that's when offers went out mm -hmm. um but that was my experience for bliss 5.0 so if you guys don't know what a rehearsal swing is is um when they call in someone for the rehearsals. Uh, so if uh, someone has to step out for a fitting or like there's a lot that goes on during rehearsal, um, the rehearsal swing will step in uh, in the queen role that they learned. Right. Um, and if like later on in the contract, if someone drops out or if someone gets hurt, usually the rehearsal swings are the first on call to step in for that place because they learned the show they were at the rehearsals right so i was a rehearsal swing first and after that long long week two weeks of uh auditions that's what i got offered first mm -hmm. um i do have to say like i've never actually said this mm. i've never said this i was actually like rehearsal swings are so important i was a little devastated that i didn't get it at first mm. i was like because there's something about like learning the show and then not doing it and then right. everyone else gets to leave and you get to see them in their costumes which is beautiful and amazing you're like oh yeah i'm part of this experience i'm part of the queendom but and then not get to be on stage i was like i was a little i was a little upset at first Don't but when imagine. i actually got to be in the in the rehearsal and learn the show and everything I kind of switched gears and I was like, okay, I am good enough to be in this show. So right. I'm going to work my hardest so that they can't say no to me. Mm -hmm. And that was like my mindset. Um, so I did everything I possibly can. And I made it clear to the director, the music director, the choreographer. I was like, oh yeah, when I'm actually in the show, <laughs> I'm going to do this. <laughs> and they were like, ha 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 funny. And they would laugh at me and be like, you don't understand. I'm a Capricorn. I'm letting you know that I am going to be in this show. <laughs> type A. Type A. Uh, I know, literally. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny jokes. Ha ha. I'm going to, I'm going to be in this show. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, after rehearsal swing, uh, we got sent home <laughs> <laughs> and the other queens went on the ship and it was great. Uh, I loved that cast. They were amazing. And I learned a lot and I actually made like really, 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 really lifelong good friends from that experience. Right. And I was good friends with the director, um, networking y'all. Yeah. It you works. have to, you okay? have to, you have to be nice to everyone. <laughs> I, pr I promise you it pays off in the end. Um, not trying to be like selfish or anything, but like uh, be nice to everyone. Cause you don't know what kind of power they have. Yeah. Anyways. Um, the second round of auditions came around like halfway through the 5.0 contract of like, okay, now we need to cast 6.0. And I made it clear. I emailed my agent. I emailed the casting director. I emailed the director. Like I was talking to everyone and I said, hi, this is me. I was a rehearsal swing. Please bring me in. Please bring me in. 
um, the callbacks come around the same process of like the week, the two week callback. I didn't get called into the room. And again, I was devastated. I was like, Oh my God, I didn't get this. I worked so hard (laughs) to be a rehearsal swing and they don't even want to see me in the room. And I was, I was so sad about it. Um, and that whole week I just, and my current girlfriend, I was in, uh, that room during that time. So like I knew what was going on and I knew who was in the room. I wasn't in the room and I was really sad about it. And, um, so the week passes by and it's Friday and it's that final, final cut of, I think dance are saying it's like the final, final last round. Mm-hmm. And I'm with my friend Jasmine, who also was a rehearsal swing with me. We were out in Dumbo and my agent texts me she goes please go look at your email and i said huh and then it was like she's so funny a bunch of like fire emojis and like party emojis <laughs> and i was like what is happening and so i opened my email and there it was the offer for sex and musical and i was like oh they didn't call me in because i was already cast mm-hmm. oh i get it and i was freaking out for no reason and i ended up talking to my director and i was like I was like, I hope you know, I was panicking the whole week because you guys didn't call me in. And I thought I did not have it. I thought I didn't get it. And she was like, she was like, Hales, I knew since Monday before the, before the callbacks even started, I knew on Monday that you had it. We just had to like wait until Friday. And I was like, oh my God, I panicked for no reason. Just like you guys aren't Um, right. You guys aren't right. I know. (laughs) Oh, but also thank you for giving me a job yes <laughs> thank you for giving this to me and trusting me with it um but yeah that was kind of my my audition process was like totally different from a lot of people a lot of people were like yeah i went in and then i booked it and me i was like yeah i had to jump through 50 hoops before I came yeah. <laughs> and panic and have a lot of anxiety but uh obviously it paid off at the end because here i am this is like your this biggest is, job, right? Like this is, is the biggest, the biggest thing ever you've had, yeah. ever done, right? Biggest show I've ever done. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Arcane was pretty close because that was with right. like Netflix and Riot Games. But in terms of musical theater world, mm-hmm. I mean, it's six, the musical, like, oh mm. my God. <laughs> my and gosh. you kind of planted that seed in my head of I could be in six, the musical. Uh... I hope you know that. <laughs> I hope you know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh because i was kind of like okay i've heard of this musical and darius was like hey like we need to do this musical i was like yeah we should <laughs> <laughs> it's okay one day i'll play i'll play the one 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 day you will because <laughs> we've manifested that i'm manifesting that for know, you literally. too like folks who were just here and you got two queens out of it yeah which is crazy that lauren, is nuts yeah lauren just finished par she just closed that's so interesting too. And it's also interesting that both of you played queens that you didn't play in our project. I know. That too. But she was also called back for Howard too. It makes sense. And I was also called back for Boleyn. It was kind of it also has to do with like who's in the room and my mini, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, isn't that yeah. funny? I mean, it's clear that you guys both work for those characters. It's just like Yeah, exactly. But you you're both very versatile as well. Thank um, you know, for folks like coming in and want to hear more about the, the queendom yeah. um, on this page right here. This is stage screen. We have, we have dived into this before we, we did the opening number of the show and uh, it was crazy. It was actually the, both of us, we, both of us, we produced this project. Um, and you casted it. Did. <laughs> you cast it. You made the costumes, mm-hmm. you choreographed it. Like I said, I'm casting my friends. <laughs> right yeah because i have so many talented friends right you did and yeah. you you did make a pretty good statement too about like everyone being bipoc yeah i really wanted that to be a, mm-hmm. a point i was like yeah if i have the power of like you know casting like why wouldn't you cast bipoc <laughs> right right i mean yeah. and also like for this kind of material it's kind of just fitting mm-hmm. um and we looked gorgeous you did look stunning you did and it was it's interesting too because like i'll I'll talk about this because this this particular project still has a life of its own it still kind of pushes on i want to hear about that yeah i want to hear about it so there's this is a journey so pretty much when we decided we were going to do this the same thing that i do for every project i ask everyone for headshots and then i post to say we're doing this hey marketing yeah you know 
me posting those pictures of the six of you went crazy. <laughs> it went Did crazy. It? it went crazy. And it's that it going crazy is the reason why I made a separate Instagram for stage to screen because I had oh, really? an Instagram just for my film stuff. And I saw, I was like, everyone's going crazy of this. And then I'd post stuff with you guys singing or anything yeah, like that. Yeah. So people followed the process. That is so cool. Like, Oh, I love art <laughs> from start to finish <laughs> Yeah, to the point. Like I remember, um, if you remember, I made like little, like, uh, like promotional cards for each of you. Yeah. So I posted so that cute. in like a musical theater group on Facebook and people oh. got confused and they were like, what's this? What is this? Yeah, what's yeah, this? Yeah. You know? So it was like, I love that. this was having a life of its own. And it still does. Um, we we were finalists in a contest years ago mm -hmm. where we ended up being on like the Emmys website um for a short amount of time no but we, we didn't know biggie at all but it was it was crazy <laughs> and yeah we just got accepted into a film festival in the bay area uh in july crazy enough and i was just like wow it's still yeah. it's still sparking if you look on youtube it's it's got I like even, i don't know how many views it is Hold on. Where's my phone? <laughs> I'm, I'm just curious. Gonna, I'm just gonna let you just like look it up. I'm not even gonna tell you. Yeah. You know, um, once you're like in ugh, this kind of cringe. Once you're in the queendom uh, <laughs> as a queen, um, they make six wiki pages of you, mm -hmm. and Sasha's screen is on there as like one of my credits. They're That's like fun weird. fact. Hales was in stage the screen as Boleyn. Like, like that was funny. I never would have ever thought that anyone would consider like what we did a part of any legacy of right. the of the six dynasty. It's but it's, it's on, on there. Page. It's it's on there. You it is canon now that you have played <laughs> you have played Boleyn before. Yes. You yes, you see what it is? Read that number out for me. Eighty three K views. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Wow! Yeah, good for us. Yeah, it it bounced and it <laughs> the just. The edit out. is so good. Oh, you, thank you. Ugh, the edit is so good. Thank you so so yeah. much. Yeah, I recently went back into it, um, just to like, just to open it up and then save it again, just because like to enter film festivals it has to be completed by a certain time. Okay, that's been like a couple of years at this point. So right. like, yeah, but. That's it's still yeah, it still has a life of its own, and people are still looking, and people oh, still know. God particularly that you and Lauren um, first played these roles here and then moved on to I be know. able to do them in bigger places, um, which I'm so proud. I'm yeah. so proud. And Lauren is like on to big things now. Like she is yeah. a star. Yes. I can't quite say what she's doing next, but it's going to be yeah. incredible. Like everyone's going to be like, yeah, that makes sense. The, that tracks. Yeah. You know, gosh, I got to get her on the show. <laughs> I know you got to i mean she's okay i'm not gonna say anything else <laughs> we'll, talk, we'll talk about that we'll, later. we'll talk about that a little bit later <laughs> so lauren but... and i went to college together and so the fact that like we were doing college shows together and then she got cast in six well i got cast in six and then she got cast in six it was all like mm -hmm. well look at us fullerton college people <laughs> booking big shows like this fullerton stand up <laughs> yeah fullerton stand up <laughs> honestly Literally. But and now my girlfriend's in six the musical, which is also that's crazy. crazy. Is anyone you touch? God, is going to... I know it's like queen, 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 <laughs> literally. Just yeah, if you want to be in six, just be in the proximity of Hales. Yeah. When are you gonna join? I mean, <laughs> as soon as they allow me to to. Wait, that's a good question. What queen would you be if you were in six the musical? This is a good question, actually. I know you have an answer. Gosh. What queen would I be? I'm sorry, I just kicked the table. No, it's okay. My long leg. <laughs> Gosh. There's and a few I answers that pop up in my head. That's going to be you. <laughs> you know, I love you, buddy. <laughs> oh, no, I would love to see you as Howard. <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> Probably Howard. But, like, two octaves lower. Oh, yeah. All you want to do. All you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just change the key to a bass key, and then we're and we're then in there. In. We're in there. <laughs> I would, I would want to try what you did. I want to try Clay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's kind of the best, low-key. Not going yeah. to be biased, but she's yes. kind of the best. Yes, because you, you've lived with this queen for a while. Yeah. Um, and, like, it's so funny because the queendom, they, they're like... <laughs> 
um, during when I was a rehearsal swing, I would get messages and they would be like, <laughs> they'd be like, so what queens do you cover? What three queens do you cover? And I was like, well, I don't know if I can really give that information. And then eventually once the cast was out, I was like, yeah, they also find out your cast before anyone else does. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I love it. Commitment. Um, but like they, they would be like, what are the three roles you cover? And I was like, well, actually, technically I'm covering Cleves and then sometimes some Boleyn. And they were like, on my wiki page, it's like, Hales is the only person that covers two queens as a swing, and I was like, <laughs> "For the record, oh my god!" <laughs> I was like, "Okay, well, thanks for that." Mm. <laughs> and honestly, when I was a rehearsal swing, I really just committed to Cleves because mm. the director was like, "Yeah, let's just focus on Cleves because," and that's not like saying that I can't do anything else. That's mm. not what she was saying. It's more like. I think that's more beneficial for you right now in the future so that you can actually be in the show. And I was like, yeah, I agree. Mm. So majority of the time that I was a rehearsal swing, I was in for Cleves, like right. 95%. <laughs> <laughs> but on my resume, it's got Cleves and Boleyn on there. Are you Absolutely. kidding? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that is on my resume. Yeah. Let's go. So, yeah. so you're, you're in this show. This is crazy. Like, you're probably getting a little bit more attention than normal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little taste because normally it, you know, once you're skyrocketing and you are like famous privacy is gone and like yeah. you've done this show, this is like your biggest show you ever done, but already you got a wiki page. That's like got information about like, I, I think I read it. Like, like your dad's ethnicity you is on there. About my dad. I was like, how <laughs> Uh, how it's because everyone thinks i'm white that's why yeah. so they're like hey by the way <laughs> hales is ecuadorian yeah just making <laughs> so sure you know of, yeah but to be specific and be like hales's dad is from ecuador it's like interesting fact for someone to reveal about me mm -hmm. ah weird um but now taylor's attached to my wiki page and i'm <laughs> attached to hers which is kind of funny it's funny yeah the so queendom doesn't think that we're actually dating mm. they think we're best friends like we get comments of being like, I'm so happy you guys are best friends. And we're like, guys, guys. we are dating. Yes. We're together. We're in this. It's literally. It's so funny. <laughs> They're like, I, or like when me and Taylor just did a live together, um, someone commented and said, I can't tell if you guys are joke dating or not. And I was like, believe queer people. We are dating. We are together. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, absolutely. Like, look at our pages. I, I, I don't know what else to tell you, bro. All right, you guys are not secretive so about it. But like... I think we are the first queens to actually be dating, <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of a funny thing to think about. Well, now that this has come out, then like this is going to be in the wiki page. The first queens to oh, ever be literally. dating. Literally, add that in there. Yeah, just add that in there. First queens <laughs> actually be dating each other. Literally, uh, <laughs> seriously. Right. That's so funny. So, with this being said, so we love the success. We love the journey yeah, that much more. So um, how often are you auditioning, though? Um, okay, so I, yeah, let's talk about being an actor in New York City. Yes, let's That's do it. A whole other ball game from California. Mm -hmm. It is a different. It is a different ball game. It's insane. Um, so I work. Well, not anymore because I just booked a show. Let's go. Let's go. But I used to work at a store mm -hmm. uh, and I was an assistant store manager. Right. And I worked 40 hours a week, mm. which is crazy, it's which hard. is just enough to pay my bills in New York City. That's uh, I know. It's crazy. Um, so I would have two days a week that I would have off. Off. Mm -hmm. Those off days, I would get to work and I... I take classes, I go to um, auditions, callbacks, things like that. So I I audition pretty often. Um, a lot of it now is the initial audition is online and then the callback is in person. Right. That's the way it's kind of um, been since pandemic. Right. So majority of the time, and I think a lot of actors can say this, it's a lot of self-tapes is majority mm -hmm. of what the audition is. So it'll be like, on Sunday, hey, you got a audition request for this show, and it's due on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. 
So you have three days to plan it out. And then either you do it before work, after work, or on your day off. And so like, I say that, yeah, I work five days a week. I work seven days a week because those two days that are off, mm -hmm. I am either preparing or I'm training or I sound like such a, I sound like such a actor. It's you, so cringe, you are but it's true. I mean, it's true. Like that's, and especially coming back from the boat, like it totally shifted like the way that I audition and the way that I work mm -hmm. because like on the boat, honestly, um, I didn't really train. Right. I kind of just did the show and then I relaxed. Like that's kind of what my contract was. And coming back from that, that didn't really make me feel as accomplished, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Actors have this fight with themselves of being like, you're awful. You suck. And then you're a great performer. I love making art. Like it's a constant mm -hmm. thing. Um, but there's some points where I'm like, oh, man, I feel like I wasted time on the boat, even though I was doing six in musical. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, like that's a right. lot of work within itself. But mm -hmm. like on those days off, I didn't do anything. I right. played my switch and then I watched movies like that was my life. Mm -hmm. um, so coming back to New York, I was like, oh, OK, now I have to work twice as hard because I just use those seven months as like a vacation. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I granted I was working hard. Because mm -hmm. Six the Musical, quote me on this, Six the Musical is so hard to do. <laughs> it is a, a hard show to do. Yeah. Um, but, like, so now that I'm back in New York, I mean, like, I am constantly submitting to auditions. Um, my agent is submitting me to auditions. That's also a good piece of advice. If you have an agent, still submit for yourself. Right. Always. This contract that I just got, I mm -hmm. self-submitted, and then obviously we roped my agent in, but... I was the one that submitted myself for that, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm auditioning a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a um, lot. And I mean, it's been six months since I, my last contract, since I got from, came back from the boat. So mm -hmm. I'm like, God, I just need to be creative. I need to do something. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. 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 But I mean, I it's where, I mean, I literally just booked a show, so. Yeah, I mean, you said something that probably just blew people's minds is the fact that you have a day job and you. I know, it. shocker. Yeah, yeah. People are probably like, my bills, bro. It's like, what? You're in rent. six. You're in six. The musicals. Like, you yep. got it. You. She has to work. I have to work. <laughs> work. And it's funny because some people don't know. Like some people don't care. Like yeah. I'll talk to people in the store and and like they'll be like, yeah, I'm seeing six. The musical tonight. I'm like, that's so cool. I. I actually did the show and they're like, oh, cool. Right. Uh, here's my credit card. Like, they don't care at all, mm -hmm. which is very humbling. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I mean, like, who would care? Like, it doesn't, they're right. like, okay, you did a show. Cool. Like, you, you did a yeah. show. Okay. And then there's other people that are very, like, intrigued and would like to talk about it. And mm. then there's other people that just don't care at all and yell at me. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I'm so glad I'm I'm not working there anymore. It's mm -hmm. about time. Yes. Yeah. This is the this is the rough part that we like to hear about too because yeah, goodness, you know it's, hard, it's like you're doing a show and like obviously like you know being a part of the legacy of this show and yeah. also being a part you know of just. Well, you know, just the legacy of just entertainment in New York in general now, yeah. just since you've done a show that is still out there, still running, and you can see six kind of kind of anywhere now mm -hmm. um, because of how popular it is, is, you know, is evident with, you know, when we did the project, uh, you know, at first, mm -hmm. um, you inherit some of that fan base as we always like see, yeah. and they don't know the inside that, you know, just because you've been a queen doesn't particularly mean like that's, that's like, everything you do. Yeah. I do have to say having that on my resume has gotten in, gotten me into a lot of rooms that I mm -hmm. probably wouldn't have been in before if it wasn't on my resume. I'm going to be completely honest. Absolutely. So it has, it has helped me a lot. Um, but also like, I still have to pay my bills. <laughs> <laughs> I still got to pay rent, man. You really do. Yeah. You really it's do. So good though. I mean, like that's, I'm so used to that now. Like that's been my job, but I, at this point I'm, I'm ready to just fully commit to like 
I'm hoping that after this, it launches me to just right. either performing or teaching or something, some kind of creative mm -hmm. outlet because I can't, I can't do retail anymore, y'all. Yes, Actors Equity, let's have stand up. <laughs> <laughs> stand up. I'm too antsy. I can't do a day job. Mm -mm. I can't. It's rough. Creative people are like, it's torture. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. And yeah. you mentioned something pretty cool, which I, I know this to be true, like in TV as well. Like, and you got a show, so you that was your job for a while. You yeah. doing that show. Obviously, like it's a great experience and you're having a blast. You're working yeah. hard, but that is your job. That's so job, yeah. when you're not doing the show, you're chilling. Like you're just like, I'm, I'm gonna kick back because I know I gotta do this mm -hmm. show. You know, so like almost a little bit it does kind of feel like what am I doing with when you're actually doing kind of a lot at the time? I know it's so weird. Cause I'm like, God, I feel like I haven't done anything this week, but I literally did six musical, like five, six times this week. Like, right. hello, plus rehearsals, plus blah, 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 plus put ins. Like, mm -hmm. I'm like, man, I feel like I haven't done anything. What do you mean? You literally just sang your butt off. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> yes. I've seen like short clips of it. And I'm just like, yeah. And the energy that you bring specifically to that character. Oh, I was bonkers, man. I Honestly, this cast like was the most energetic cast and everyone was a dancer. I mean, they some of them weren't like um, dancer dancers, but like everyone was on the same page of like, okay, so we're dancing and we have our energy needs to be 100 pretty much the whole time mm -hmm. which was such a cool thing right because sometimes if you get people that are like a little bit more um smaller i guess mm -hmm. not that that's a bad thing because with six you can do whatever you want but right. like we were all collectively in my cast we're like we're gonna be 100 <laughs> yeah and we're gonna sweat our brains off and it was worth it i mean like yeah it was great you, yeah you definitely did um and half my cast was freaking from australia nice Australia. <laughs> nice. Water. So, like, you know, because he's bringing up dancers because yeah. you're, you're a dancer. That is initially yeah, how is we how met. It, yeah. And for folks who don't know the terms, there are some folks in musical theater who are simply just park and barkers. Mm -hmm. There are movers, there are strong movers, but mm -hmm. then you got, like, over here, you got the dancer. The dancer. And there are certain musicals that only the dancers can do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that can be in the ensemble <laughs> mm -hmm. right yeah because yeah. they're like super like crazy like dance musicals you know yeah that's kind of like my bread and butter mm -hmm. is the ones that have the ensemble kind of not the ensemble carrying the show but the ensemble being like the mm -hmm. heart of the show right those are usually the shows that i do right yeah right. six was kind of one that was like out of pocket for me mm -hmm. um because I, I've done roles where I'm like the leading person, mm -hmm. as in as in supporting. Mm -hmm. I've never been one that's like I am the lead. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I did Mary Poppins, but that was like when I was young. I mean, like professionally, right? Um, I'm always like, okay, this person can sing and harmonize and then dance mm -hmm. ensemble. Like that's and I love that. Yeah, to me, it's fun. You know, that's great. Cast me, so <laughs> like I'll take the job, man. There's only so many ingenues and, and leading, you know, leading men that can take those roles. Right, right. I mean, like, and you know, just even particularly like in dancer roles, I remember yeah. Lin-Manuel said, you know, one of the reasons why like he like created In the Heights is because there wasn't much for him. Also, as a, an Hispanic man, he couldn't really audition for. He was like, I can't really do, I can't do West Side Story because I, I can't be Bernardo because I'm not a dancer. Right. I can't. That's a dancing role. Bernardo, you know, Bernardo doesn't really sing in yeah. that show at all, but yeah. he does get down. He does, yeah. You know? Everyone in that show pretty much has to be, like, yeah, you gotta, a great dancer. We got, yeah, I think, like, the, uh, the the actor who played Bernardo in the most recent movie for Spielberg was, like, part of, like, the New York Ballet. Like, he was, like... Yeah. Like, crazy. And you, yeah. you see it, because you can't fake that. Right. <laughs> you can't fake oh, that, that at all. That movie was so good. It's great. It's great. I have watched that recently. Oh, um, it. it was so good. Yeah. Because, yeah, we're bringing, we're bringing West Side Story into our repertoire very soon. Are you? Yes, we are. <gasps> I like to be in America. I already, I told you about this project. You're the first one I told about it. And I told... <laughs> And I, uh, it's oh, finally yeah. coming yeah. into fruition. Yeah, we are doing "Cool" from West Side Story, sung by the Sharks oh, yeah. in, Spanish. in Spanish. Oh, brilliant! Yes, yes. Have a brilliant uh, Latin dance company 
very versatile who will be like the core of the the sharks but then oh, that's so also cool. some pretty brilliant uh dancer singers as well that are going to be I'm so excited in it. it and this is one of those things that if you were still here <laughs> i would 100 percent be a part of it yeah i would i would sorry i live across the country i know i'm, to make, <laughs> I'm so far let to make a trip like <laughs> i know you know i'm so glad we got to do this yeah, <laughs> honestly <laughs> this yeah. is so cool yeah you're super oh, busy you're super busy so for yeah so you're you know obviously you're auditioning a whole lot yeah and it's crazy there are better weeks than others sometimes yeah. you're probably not auditioning at all sometimes Some you're months better than other you're right yeah and i think uh what it, what is something that you can probably tell to someone who is just starting maybe they've like maybe they've moved here maybe they moved to new york and they're just okay. starting and they are like beaten down with dejected by it like they're just yeah. like on their oh, way man, to like just so going hard. home like how what would you say to them um i if if you love what you do it will carry you through if you love what you do it will carry you through because i think there's some people that focus on the um like corporation ver uh, uh, part of what we do and they forget why we do this in the first place exactly yes it's work yes it's a job yes this is our livelihood to i mean survive we've been given this talent and like mm -hmm. this is what we use in order to you know live our life um but regardless of what other people tell you or what they say to you or what the casting director if they hire you or not, just remember why you started to do the art and make the art that um, you started with. And that is like what will get you through. Because I'm going to be honest, like that is something that I lost track of mm -hmm. at some point. We all do, yeah. Yeah. And you're like, you're like, feel stuck, you know? And I, I'm going to, I'm going to be, I'm going to be vulnerable. Oh my God. Um, this year has been that kind of rut for me, uh, especially coming back from such a big contract and then being like, okay, I have to go back to a normal muggle life. Great. Mm -hmm. um, and so me focusing on, or actually shifting, I, I shifted. I, I was like, okay. I want to be sober. I've been sober for three months now. Let's go. It has been amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I want to train again. Yes, I have, you know, a certain set of skills that some people don't have. But how do I expand so that people can't say no to me? Or, or I leave an impression of what kind of art I make. I am doing privates now with someone. I'm training with, um, I don't know if you know who Bobby Pocket is. Bobby Pocket, he's uh, yeah. locking. Yeah, locking from Canada and is currently in Aunt Juliet. And um, someone who is uh, very beneficial for me and has become my mentor. And I would have never done that if I decided, like, okay, I'm just going to keep auditioning and then eventually something will come. I said, no, I'm going to keep auditioning and refining my craft and doing what I love to do so that mm -hmm. I can book that job. And I know that this is so hard, but patience, patience. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like I have been told throughout like college and even my professional career, people be like, that production is so small. Like, why would you do that? If they offer you ensemble, say no, please. I'm not doing this so that I could be the name and lights. I'm not doing this so that like, I can have a wiki page on the internet. That mm -hmm. is not what I do this for. I do this because I like to do this. Mm -hmm. And if someone offers me ensemble and I'm content with that, I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it the best way I possibly can right. because I love to do it. Exactly. So my advice <laughs> would be do what you love and good things will happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. The rest will come exactly the rest will come and I, I and like i have friends that you know haven't done a show in like two years and blah 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 blah, blah whatever it is but like um i think focusing on the art itself is gonna is going to benefit you and 
and your craft. It mm -hmm. will. I promise you. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm so passionate about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. But it's funny because like I'm literally in the middle of me like ch shifting how I want my career to go. Like mm -hmm. I'm like knee deep in the middle of it. So right. constantly reinventing ourselves. And you know, like yeah. this is the part we want to this is the part that I, I want to shed more light on because, you know, there's there's is always a you know, since it's not linear how to get to, a, a, you know, an end goal or anything like that, especially with this, that, um, you know, once you get there, some you know, folks are probably thinking that like, oh, you're, you're set. You're going to, they know you're in six. You're going to jump to the next one. Has it helped you? Absolutely. But like, it, it's you gotta not, keep working, you've got to keep doing it. It's so hard. Like it never stops. Right. But we love to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. Like that's why we do it. We love to do it. We love to do it. Yeah. It's hard though, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. I don't know if I told you this, but I actually finaled for my first Broadway show this year. Really? Did I tell you about this? Mm -mm. Yeah. So I got called in for my first Broadway show and I finaled for it and I was in the last three and I didn't get it. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. And then my grandmother passed. Oh no. Yeah. It was a really, March was a really hard March month. sucked. And then we found out that Taylor's leaving. I was like, oh, and now my partner's leaving. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I finaled for her. Yeah. Which is cool. So that kind of gave me like motivation of like, mm -hmm. okay, so I got this far. That means I can do it. Yeah, you can <laughs> do it. That means I can do it. It's So there. what do I do as an actor? What are my controllable factors that I can, I can, um, work on to get me to where I want to be. And I figured out that list for me because mm -hmm. everyone's different. I figured out that list for me and now I am working towards it. Mm. Yeah. Wow. I'm supremely proud of you, Haley. <laughs> Thank you. I was pretty devastated though. I really thought I had it. I did have bronchitis on the very, very last round. <laughs> I was like, this girl is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I tried my best, man. And in front of people that, oh, God, that room was the biggest room I've ever been in. Right. Like, behind the table. I was like, who am I singing? And I had fucking bronchitis. Right. You singing oh, that man. song makes me think I know what show it was. Yeah. 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 And yeah. honestly, here's the thing. When I first heard about that show, one of the first things I thought, I was like, Haley would kill this show. Yeah. Yeah. But it's... It's okay. I'm on some list somewhere. Yeah, some list. I don't think it's gonna close anytime soon. So. It's it's not. The the yeah. Tonys love it. They love it. <laughs> so we'll just let everyone guess what it is because we yeah, haven't they said. Know. I mean, they know they at this point. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, like we can talk about it. Like, yeah, still, true. I'm not trying to hide it. Yeah, it's true. Oh, I just burped. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I'd expect <laughs> nothing less. <laughs> Correct. Good, Haley. Where can they find you? Um. My Instagram is the number zero, H A L E Y zero, zero Haley zero. Um, and that's kind of the only <laughs> social it's media. It's only social. I it's use. the same name you've had this whole Since, time. Like, I was in the eighth grade or something, or like high school <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. It's just, just like, that's what it is, but you know, it's on brand. stuck with it. Mm -hmm. And it looks so silly, but that's my name. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's how I find I know it. I'm, I, and that's how I find I you. I know. Uh, <laughs> What a what, good talk. What a good talk. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming and doing this. Yeah, man. Of course. Yeah, absolutely. This is important. This is important stuff that people I need have to a lot hear. Of words to say. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I, I figured as much. I blocked out the time. <laughs> yeah. How long? Uh, almost an hour. Almost an hour. Yeah, almost that's an hour. Cute. Yeah, that's cool. You know, I can just kind of like clock it there and then just make. <laughs> I know. We could keep going. We man. could probably keep going. So people aren't going to stay for a two-hour pod, but yeah. maybe later on they will. Yeah, maybe I'll come back. <laughs> come back. We could do it through video call, too. Oh, my God. This is, yeah, this program has video call as well, so we could do it pretty much anytime you want to. Okay, so when, quote this, when I book Broadway, I am coming back onto this podcast. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This, has been, this has been an episode of Performers Wanted, and I thank you guys for listening. Thank you. And we'll see Peace. you soon. 